What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. It is Sunday, the 15th of March, 2020. In the interest of normalcy, I'm going to try to give you a normal report. However, I'm not feeling normal. I don't think any of us are. As always, the first link below will take you over to the blog spot. That's where you can find all these links I'm going to give you. First of all, America shuts down as Congress has warned 150 million will be infected with coronavirus, highways and airports. Yada, 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 America shut down. National declaration of emergency by the president. I'll put a link to this. As it stands at this hour, 156,000 worldwide. In the U.S., looks like we got 2,951 infected, 57 dead. As you can see, people, is what it is. Trump says U.S. has a plan to contain the coronavirus. Really? I'll put a link to this from Fox News. Meanwhile, what is the power... What the alarming scope of the president's emergency powers. You know, if, if you pull this article up and you pull up your search, because it's kind of lengthy, and just put in FEMA. Secret contingency plan authorizing suspension of the Constitution, turning control of the United States over to FEMA, as was foretold in the first X-Files movie. I bet you thought that was simply entertainment. The United States Constitution is suspended. Of course, technically, we've been under state of emergency since 9-11. It's just a little more in your face. Now, anyway, I'll put a link to this article from The Atlantic. Interesting read. Gateway Pundit puts us out. We got other news. Tyrant Pelosi smacks her hand on the podium, says it's her way or nothing when it comes to coronavirus. Meanwhile, Joe Biden this week uh, told someone uh, he's full of shit. I think this is with the art the uh, the auto workers union or whatever up in Michigan. He also said uh, we're going to ban your AR-15. Your, I'm sorry, your AR-14 automatic machine gun. I told you people, I am just not with it this week. How the Dow did this week? Looks like on Friday the Dow rose 2,711 points. This was as Donald Trump was declaring a state of emergency for the week. The Dow fell 2,679 points, or 10%. All kinds of stuff on the market here. You know, I never knew that the pre-markets had a circuit breaker. Two times this week, circuit breakers triggered again to keep stocks falling through the floor. Two times, the, I, for, I forget what the official term is, but the two times this week, the, uh, the pre-markets fell so low that the circuit breakers tripped. Before the stock market open. Stock market live Thursday. Dow tanked 2,300 and worst day since Black Monday S&P bear market. Put a link to all this. Part of this was due to oil plunge 24% and worst day since 1991. Part of it was due to the coronavirus news. President Trump announces payroll tax cut relief paid sick leave. Again, who's going to pay for all this, Mr. President? And House passes bill to help prop up economy from coronavirus. In New World Order and Police State news, as predicted in the TV series Jericho, Walmart to use parking lots as testing sites. How was it in Jericho? FEMA set up a tent city, Walmart parking lot. I'll probably make a video this week putting that out there. Illinois mayor issues coronavirus order allowing ban of gun sales. This from Breitbart. Put a link to that. National Guard activated to combat coronavirus in six states. More to follow. Yes, more to follow indeed. That from Military Times. Trump considers travel restrictions to California and Washington. I bet by the end of the week the whole country is travel restricted. Put a link to that and troops on the streets. Now this is out of the UK. Troops on the streets in the UK. But prepare yourself for what is coming for America. And one more. Enjoy this tool we have to communicate. We will not have it forever. As I've always said, more coronavirus censorship. Social media companies partner with World Health Organization to help censor info. They will shut this down eventually. Count on it. Over to World War III news. Two Americans, one British citizen killed in a rocket attack on base in Iraq. Put a link to this from MSN News. Apparently Iran likely behind attack that killed Americans in Iraq, says U.S. General. That from Fox News. We got Lil' Kim getting a ronry again. Point Yang fires another three un unidentified projectiles, South Korean military says. Uh, they did the same thing last week. This is a different incident. Meanwhile, Sudan's prime minister survives assassination attempt. I don't know anything about this, says state media. Put a link to that from RT. Fox News says China hints at denying Americans life-saving coronavirus drugs. Why are we not making this stuff in America anyway? And Chinese official accuses U.S. Army of starting coronavirus outbreak demands explanation. Over to Earth Changes in 2012 news now. Actually, I don't have any links for Earth Changes in 2012 news except for the volcano and earthquake tracker, which this week looks like which is a 6.4 out of New Zealand. If we switch this over to magnitude 5 and above, been some magnitude 5s around, but nothing really big going on earthquake or volcano-wise. If you have any Earth Changes or 2012 news, please feel free to post it in the comments. I just bookmarked nothing this week. Apparently everything's calm. Over to strange and bizarre news. Parents in Tennessee react to COVID-19 cases in schools. Apparently they're spraying their kids in the face with bleach and all this stuff. People are just losing their minds. It's very interesting to watch. 
Dozens in Iran die from drinking bootleg alcohol to prevent coronavirus infection, says reports. Okay, lawmakers advised to halt physical touch. Use Star Trek greeting. Yes, while the president's up here declaring state of emergency, shaking everyone's hand. We're going to use the Star Trek. Okay, volunteers offered $4,500 to be infected with coronavirus. You need some extra cash? You want to do some vaccine stuff? Put a link to that. And down in Georgia, man stabbed with broken wine bottle. Uh, over a pack of sweet, delicious mountain spring water at Sam's Club. Stabbed. Mm. For all the news, please check my favorites. I have favorited so much news this week. All kinds of fresh stuff over here. If you just check out the titles. All kinds of stuff over here. I, I just, I'm not going to go through it all. And I got one shout out this week. Shout out to the Show Me Baby once again. He put out a video. Here we go. 16 minutes, 37 seconds of things that you need to hear. Things we've talked about for years. It is happening, folks. Okay, like I said in my last video, it doesn't matter if you think this virus is nothing to worry about. This shit is happening. Let the show me baby tell you about it. That's all I got for this week. If you like to support, please consider supporting me on Patreon or directly with PayPal. I appreciate any donations as I am no longer ad-friendly on YouTube at all in 2020. You can also follow me on Facebook, Gab, Twitter, YouTube community feed to get updated links from me through the week. I'm no doubt going to be tweeting out a lot of stuff. So please follow me. Please tell me what you think of all this madness. What's going to come of the coronavirus stuff now that we're under a national state of emergency and the Constitution is suspended? They might not have said that, but that is in fact the case. As you're going to see cities shut down, you're going to see the police state come in, you're going to see people quarantined. All that stuff we've talked about for years. Interesting to see the sheeple panic, isn't it? Everybody going out and buying up everything in the stores, slashing each other's throats with wine bottles to get the last pack of water. Me and my friends, I know we're going to be just fine because we prepared for this. Tell me what you think. That's all I got for this one, guys. No doubt more videos coming from me through the week on the coronavirus. Until then, you guys take care, stay safe. I will see you on the next one.